Welcome to another grammar lesson for A-level Spanish. Today we're going to be looking at object pronouns. What are object pronouns? Object pronouns are the word in a sentence which are going to replace the noun that describes the object in a sentence. For example, I saw him. The subject in the sentence is I, so we, because we saw the person. Him replaces the person who I saw. Therefore, him is the object which the action is being acted upon. So let's see an example in Spanish. Lo quiere mañana. In this case, lo is the object in the sentence. All object pronouns in Spanish are going to go before the verb. So now we're going to see what examples of object pronouns are. Now for direct object pronouns, we use me for I, te for you, lo for he or it, la replacing she or it, lo or la for you being in the formal sense, nos for we, os for you, los for they, and las for they. These are all of the plural ones. And another one we can use for you, the plural, plural version of you, which is ustedes, we use los or las. Here are some rules. There are certain rules that we are going to have to use when using object pronouns. If we're describing a person's actions, we use le instead of lo or la, and les instead of los or las. So whenever we're speaking of a person, we use le. For example, if we say le gusta. Also, if you are using the continuous tense, they have to go after the verb. So normally, all direct object pronouns go before the verb, but now they must go after. For example, estaba viendo las cantar. So, this is the ongoing action in the present. Ongoing being we, I was watching them. We have to put las, which is used for you plural or in this um, sense, goes after the verb, which is viendo, meaning ver, which is to see. When we're using positive commands, also all direct object pronouns have to go after the verb. For example, mirame. This can also be seen as an imperative. So, me, which is a direct object pronoun for I, goes after mira, which means look. Then we get the command, look me, or look at me. In negative commands, however, they go before the verb. No le mires is an example. In this case, we have a negative using the word no in the sentence. So we then have to put le, which is the direct object pronoun we use when describing a person's actions, in front of the verb, which is mires, conjugated from mirar, meaning to look. Indirect object pronouns. Now that we've looked at object pron direct object pronouns, that is, we're going to look at indirect object pronouns. In the first and second person, they are going to be me, te, nos, and os. For example, te lanzo el balón, meaning I'll pass you or I'll throw you the ball. In third person, they are le and les. For example, le gusta la gasolina. The rules for how they are positioned are exactly the same than that of the direct object pronouns. So, when describing a person, we use le. If it's a positive command, it goes after the verb. However, if it is a negative command, it goes before the verb. Here are some questions. Pause the video and have a go at attempting these, and then hit play whenever you're ready so you can see how many you got right. Here are the answers. If you got them all right, congratulations. However, if you did not, be sure to go over your notes once more or rewind the video to any information you may have missed. You can also revise from www.revisealevel.co.uk where there is a wide range of subject material which you can revise for or simply if you want to revise tenses or any other material for A-level Spanish. It's a great website and you should really check it out. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.